This is an awkward introduction, I understand. I'm right here in my house getting ready to go out bear hunting. Very unusual, but here's the situation. I have been patiently waiting for days for the right moment to strike on these two big bears that I have on a bait. I've been waiting for the wind to be right. I've been waiting for everything to be right. I've been analyzing trail camera photos. Um, here's what's happening. Slowly, as I have been really patient, I've just been baiting every other day with mostly trail mix and uh, some pastries. Um, and I have slowly been watching these trail camera photos as I've completely stayed out of there, kept my scent to an absolute minimum. Um, in there and the bears have went from coming in to from two to three hours after dark slowly over the last five days working their way up until last night they came in right at dark and the end of legal shooting light is 8 13 tonight um, the bear I call the belly dragger bear is about a 350 pounder uh, he came in at 804 and then immediately a few minutes after that, last night, Big Slick, who was another 350 pound-ish male, came in and ran it off. And they've been working their way forward. So the wind is out of the east right now. It's been raining all day. It, it started raining about 11 o'clock. I baited about 11 o'clock right before the rain started. So all my scent got washed away by this heavy rain that we've been having all day. Now normally I'd try to be in the stand for between 3 and 4 o'clock, well it's, it's, it's 5 o'clock right now, so it's way late and I haven't even left home yet here, but I've been watching the radar and the rain is just about to quit. Now rain is a terrible time to be in the stand to hunt for bear. Bears hardly move at all during the rain. They don't like it. Okay, it's noise, it's no scent, it's things are moving, the wind's usually moving things around, they just don't like to move during the rain, they hole up under a spruce tree somewhere or whatever. But one of the best times to be in the stand is right after a rain. So watching the radar here, it looks like the rain is just about to end. So I am just going to make a run for it. I'm going to drive out there in the rain, and the minute that the rain ends, I'm going to jump on the four-wheeler, drive back in there, park about 150 yards from the bait, walk the rest of the way into the bait, and I'm not going to do what I would normally do as an introduction and an explanation in the stand. So this is what we got. It's, uh, it's kind of a crazy move, but sometimes that's what you have to do to kill these great big bears. Here we go. bit and it should be pretty much quitting here in the next half hour. It's 5.30 which means I got about two and a half hours until uh, I won't be able to see to shoot with this heavy overcast and probably be 15 minutes before that when I will no longer be able to film so I hope if I get a shot that I get it on video but with these big bears sometimes you only get one chance at them so it'll be shot first priority of the video second so all right we're gonna settle in and uh, hopefully don't get too soaked before the rain quits here we go well I've been in the stand only half an hour and another cell popped up. I had about a 20 minute break of rain and it was just blowing out of the trees is all, but then another cell popped up and it's a doozy. It's got a bunch of red in it, so gosh, I cannot get a break. I gotta get out of here before I get all my camera and everything soaked. Well, we'll try it again another day. Well, it is Wednesday, and uh, it's time to make my move. You just saw a Monday where uh, I tried it again, 
just didn't happen for me. Got rained out again. It's been a real struggle. But uh, everything is right today. The wind is right. I've been really being patient and just baiting these bears and feeding them, watching the covert cell camera photos so I know exactly what's going on in there. And because I've stayed out of there and because I've been patient and waited for the right moment, the bears, the two biggest bears, the belly dragger and, uh, and the big slick bear, uh, have slowly from gone from coming in at 10, 11 o'clock at night to coming in right at dark, right before dark. And then last night, um, the wind was from the northwest, so I, de I decided not to hunt, even though I expected them to come in a little earlier yet, and they did. The bear I named Belly Dragger was there at 745. Shooting light ends at, I think, 812 tonight. Um, probably we're looking at about 8 to 805 when I can still see my pins. It's heavy overcast today. The rain, it rained this morning, but it's quit now. This feels really good. I want to do uh, an opening right here to explain um, before I go back in there because I don't want to talk too much in the stand. So anyway, I feel really good about tonight and I'm headed in there and uh, we're going to wait it out and uh, hopefully uh, in about three hours or so, the wind is supposed to stay northeast all evening. And uh, in about three hours, uh, right before dark, we'll have a chance to get a shot at one of these big bears. And I expect to see two of the smaller bears before the big ones come in. So let's get back in there and make it happen. are bedded really close here but I have to tell you this there's been a bear in my tree stand since I was here on Monday he was up in this tree it's a big oak tree and he was breaking off branches and eating acorns in this tree and then there was a pile of branches on my stand and and uh, hulls from acorns so he there's actually been a bear in this tree um, and I like the wind in here, so uh, we, we're going to start. We're going to see some bears tonight. It's not ideal uh, weather. It's cool. It's only 50 in the 50s, and uh, a little bit breezy. But these bears have got to eat, and uh, they, there's been so much rain that they have, uh, you know, they they keep getting rained off the bait and everything like that. So I put fresh bait in here about noon today. I feel really good about this. So. This could be the night that it happens.
others I've seen do that. And uh, it, that is the wind direction. And then they loop around and go to the bait. The, the smaller of the two never did go to the bait. I think he got spooked off by the bigger one. The bigger one went to the bait and fed for a little while and then left. Pretty sure it's a big sow. It looked like a 250 pound bear. Really nice bear. But, uh, you know, bears that age and size, it's hard to tell sows from boar. But I'm pretty sure this one was just a big sow. It's very encouraging that I've already seen two bears though. Well, back in the truck here, just wanted to break this down for you real quick. Uh, my four-wheeler was parked about 150 yards from the bait, and uh, when it got to the point where my, where I really couldn't see my sight pins, there's still 10 minutes of legal shooting light, but there is, uh, uh, it's, you know, just pretty heavy cover in there, so it just got dark on me, so I just got my stuff together really quietly and got out of there without any lights. I, first, I passed up that that one 250 pound bear that offered me a nice shot and I don't know maybe I'm nuts for passing up a bear like that but uh, that's not um, that's just really not what I'm after so I've shot a lot of bears like that and I'm really um, just interested in the two biggest ones that are on this bait so it was 20 minutes before dark when uh, that bear came in I just really didn't get a great look at him uh, you know three quick encounters with him uh, the last one there, as you saw, he came in, uh, looked right at me, and grabbed a, a donut and buggered out of there and just went back in the bushes to eat it. And uh, he clearly saw John when John was in that stand here a few days ago because he really looked up at the stand uh, right away when he first got to the bait and then he actually even stood up. I probably have that on my uh, trail camera. I'll show it to you if I do. You know, we got some rain here the next few days, but I'm just going to keep plugging away at this. Just keep food in front of them. And, uh, you know, I saw three bears tonight, and, and there's there's uh, eight bears that I know of that have been seen on this bait here on my trail cameras. So we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll just stay with it. And, uh, you know, um, you know, what else are you going to do? I still got a bear tag in my pocket. So thanks for following along with me, and uh, we will see you again in a few days.